So this is my book, The Museum of Modern Love, and it all started back in 2005 at the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne. I'd been to see another show and I wandered away from that into another part of the gallery and found a black and white photograph. And it was called Rhythm Zero by Marina Abramovich. And in the photograph you could see a table set with a, a white tablecloth and some items on it. And the little descriptor beside the photograph said that this was a show that she had performed in Naples in 1974. And on the table were 72 items that the audience could use on her. She was going to remain entirely passive for six hours. Some of the items were benign. They were grapes and a rose and a bottle of olive oil, feather, um, and some of them were much less benign. There was chains, a whip, a gun and a bullet. And then it talked about the fact that Marina Abramovich was also known for a performance called The Great Walk where she and her partner Ulai walked from either end of the Great Wall of China to meet in the middle and say goodbye to one another and end their relationship. And I was incredibly touched. I thought, who is so brave that they remain passive to an audience for six hours with those items on the table, but is also so romantic that they consider it of such importance to end their relationship by this incredible public declaration of separation and I thought to myself now there's a character for a book and then it took 11 years. The Stella Prize is such a gift for Australian women writers. It's an incredible initiative and it's brought so many books and so many Australian writers to acclaim on the long lists and on the short lists. And I think it's going to inspire a whole new generation of Australian women writers. So I am delighted to be part of the Stella family. Oh, food, I love food. Uh, I have three grown up children, so I've spent a lot of time cooking. And one of the things in our family is cake. I've been making cakes for a very long time. I make them for people I love. And in fact, a few years ago, it was my 50th birthday and uh, my family made an incredible slideshow, including all my cakes. And every time a cake came on the screen, all my friends yelled, cake, because it's become a bit of a thing. So I love cake, I love baking. I love baking bread too. I love making soup on Saturdays. I love warm, slow food because I live in Tasmania and we love that through winter. And I love making things out of my garden. So I, I grow vegetables and fruit and whatever I can and I love cooking with those things too. I just read my first Sebastian Barry novel and I have never read him before. But the book that I read won the Costa Prize in 2016. It's called Days Without End. And the voice in this novel is so beautiful. And the story itself is, is a part of history I didn't ever put together. And that is that the Indian Wars that happened in the Midwest of America happened at the same time as the Civil War. And this is a young boy who escapes the famine in Ireland and becomes a soldier in the Indian Wars and then a soldier in the Civil War. And it made me howl. There are not many books. In fact, only one other book in my whole life that's made me howl with sadness. And this is one of them. Days Without End, Sebastian Barry. Highly recommended. Mm -hmm.